back to Greenhouse Solutions and Complete Growing. With 10 years of trials, errors, and successes, we want to keep it simple, keep it sustainable, keep it affordable, and most of all, keep it real. All right, and some of the old plants, just get them out. Much root as you can. And just shake them off into another bucket. So you don't waste any of your perlite. And that gets thrown away. If it's perlite, I'm going to put back in here. And then I'm going to clean the perlite in this bucket next. Okay, like I said, these are only a dollar a piece, so I'm going to use a new one in each. It's been three seasons, so they've been doing good. They've outlasted their life. And, uh, same thing, dump it all in. Sometimes they're stuck in there with the roots. But again, that's amazing. Three years of old roots and get the old net. Take off the old perlite. And fix this around and get any of the, like this is the old stick again. Mix it around. Get any of the extra roots out that you want, but they'll be sterilized as well, so it won't matter. And let that sit 15 minutes and go start again. Okay, if you're using the regular Dutch buckets that don't have the insert, I just take the whole bucket and I'll dump it in. I'll show you that in a little bit. And if you have these inserts, go ahead and rinse them in that same solution before you put it back in. Just kind of gets anything that might be bad taken care of okay after it's soaked for oh I don't know say 15 minutes or so pull this strainer out let it drip dry no, just let it get most of the water out remember this is all hydrogen peroxide solution which is really good for the plants and their roots anyway. It'll keep out all your root rot, etc. Then I'm gonna set it back down in here. Just back around. Here we go, just like new, ready for the new plants. That simple. Okay, this also works if you've got hydroton or clay pebbles, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Dump them in. And as you see, there's roots. Clean those off the bucket there. Mix them up in here again. You get out any of the other roots, but you know what? Even the roots will be okay because you're getting those cleaned in the hydrogen peroxide solution as well. So it'll act almost like a cocoa core. More places for the roots to, the new roots to grow into. And I like to get as much out as I can. And just leave those soak for a while while we do the next bucket. All right, on the 10 bucket system, these are really easy to take out. I'll put my uh, tube into the other one in case the system comes on on the timer. You can just turn it off if you want. Unclip there. Stay, I say. Anyway, it's not on. Just lifts out. Simple, simple. All right, so put the new net on. Again, they, these have been on for three years. Definitely had all their use. They're probably still fine, but why not use a new one? Dump that in there. See the new one? That way I don't have to clean off all the roots. This can just be thrown away. We're good. I know I don't like to waste things, but that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out the bucket as well. You can see it. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that out with some peroxide too. And uh, just let this sit. 
15 minutes just like the other and we'll refill it. All right, so instead of putting it on the ground and putting it in there, I don't want to waste any of the water because it will continue to drain. So I drain it here as much as possible. Anyway, just let it drain. Set it back in the bucket. Around. Close. Flip. And done. Okay, we've got all of them sanitized, ready to go for the new plants. And as you see, my fancy Dancy dancing? Sure, why not? Um, trellis system, paracord, clips, loops. We'll have a whole video on this. These have been in here three years and there's not one trace of rotting. These clips have been used for three years. Only had a couple of them break on me. One bucket or half, half bucket of water and the third cup of hydrogen peroxide, 35%. It'll last you at least 10 buckets. So one, one of our 10 bucket systems, you can clean the whole thing with a third of a cup of the 35% hydrogen peroxide. So it lasts a long time. But I highly suggest get that 35% because there's a whole bunch of uses for it. And we're gonna cover all the uses for the hydrogen peroxide in another video. Stay tuned for that. Um, so till next time.